the guy steals the other guy's idea and makes a book. <laughs> guys, this is high level gossip. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Niger, joined by none other than Sabina Voicer. And I'm very happy to have her on the stream and have her as a friend and in real life. <laughs> so she's going Something. to teach me some opening traps that everybody some traps that I know. know. I, I may not know all of them, but I'll try to teach you. Uh, especially like Queen's Gambit, I think you know like a lot of them already, but just in case. Okay. There, there was this uh, young girl that I was teaching like before Corona started, before she stopped. <laughs> <Basically>. <laughs> She was interested, her parents were interested for me to teach her the different traps. And I was like, well, I haven't Paris, taught those Can things. you just... <laughs> no, but like, you know, the thing is that it's not like, it doesn't matter the age. You know, chess doesn't matter what age you are. Yeah. But, but uh, it's, yeah, some things are kind of important to be known, like more important than others, I guess. So, um, <laughs> and we'll try to see what we can do here. Okay. All right. Okay. So you told me you're playing D4 first move, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, you said the Queen's Gambit, but yeah. what, ab what about the play, for example, C4? You C4. see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take the pawn. They take the pawn. I, I know this, and I do E3, attack this. They push E5, right. and, and I do A4. Uh, All right, show me, show me what you know. I think we take it. OK. You and then I take it. back. Uh huh. And I do Queen F3. All right, so you know this. Uh, okay, you're good. And then you take the okay. The best thing they can do is maybe maybe they can be so kind to just give you a knight, but you're gonna take it, right? Yeah. And then I go here, and then what will you do? Uh, let me see. I don't know. Don't, <laughs> don't get nervous. That's the number one I thing. I just go back, or yes, he, you know, you want a piece. Yeah. That's it. You don't need to panic. Yeah. Go back. And then you develop your pieces and you have the extra piece. Make sure you get your pieces out, the rest of your pieces out. Mm -hmm. And you castle. This Nays is or sub. This is, let's go back. Let's go back. I'll okay. show you. I, I, I just want, this is of course important. Now, this is the other very important one you should not fall for. Let's see if you learned this one. If they play E6. Okay. E6. You uh, see that I made a, a change, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I played knight C3. Okay, and then they go knight to f6. What did you learn to do? I just take the pawn. Ah, okay. So if you go for this line, you're not going to fall. Okay, you're not gonna... because um, Alex told me to take the pawn. Actually, yes. my original preparation was not about taking the pawn. But okay. then I kept making a mistake and Alex said, okay, uh, get this pawn and simplify the position because you keep falling for the same thing. <laughs> and I don't remember what that same thing is, but since I take the pawn, I don't fall. <laughs> All right. It's just again. Yeah, <laughs> you, you probably, pro probably this is a thing. Actually, it happened. It happened to someone really recently who was pretty strong and I was surprised that was not familiar with this. Well, um, with this idea, just in case, black and tricky, if you go here, like say one day you just forget and you play it fast and you move the bishop there instead of taking first. Do you move it there after you take? Do you move the bishop over there? I guess so, yeah, because there's right. no e6, e, uh, e7 pawn on this place. I can pin the uh, knight to the queen, so I usually go to bishop g5. Good. But sometimes F I go to bishop to f4. F4. Either I don't one know, of like uh, just the, how I feel like that day. <laughs> really, I don't have a re rationality. No, that's good. That's good. Either one, either one of those moves. I actually like this line. Um, this is kind of a lot of strong players played this day. Was, when I was a kid, I was playing it a lot and I was winning a lot of games. Wow. Because I, I, I was very happy because after this, you know, I could go uh, move like queen c2. I would play, I would push this pawn. See, can I do the arrows? No? Nope. Yeah, I, I think you can Wait, do it. I, I know, I know, but ah. okay. There. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Right here. That's pretty much what I do. Good. Oh, but except, except for the knight to e2. Okay. I so played knight f3. F3. That, that's, okay, maybe Alex, maybe Alex showed it out. So, no, okay. No, no, that's here. not Alex. <laughs> that was not Alex, it was your decision. <laughs> no, that wasn't <laughs> Alex. 
the reason I like it um, is because, you know, with, with the knight coming there, um, you can castle. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, you can play f3, e4. I'm, I'm a very big fan to attack the center. Mm -hmm. And with this line, I, you know, I, I, was, I was able to win a lot of games. And this was normal, like, uh, in, in, in a, like when I was playing Romanian cha youth mm -hmm. championships. Um, I, it's, I felt it is simple because it's a simple development and you exactly where my yeah. pieces is. Look, Sabina, I keep asking the same question to myself. Like, this is this looks so simple. When I check my lines, you know, when you show me, when I see someone else play, it looks so simple. And I okay. can't help but ask the question to myself. Like, where does it go wrong? <laughs> how do I F this up? <laughs> like, well, how do I mess it up? <laughs> Maybe, maybe sometimes when something like goes wrong, and I don't understand why it just doesn't look the same. I mean, here's the thing: you have to try to make a connection somehow. You know, when you're a kid and when you're adult, you have different ways of learning things, uh -huh. right? And and right. Yeah. I mean, at that's least that's true. what that people say. Who people who studied this? Not me, because I don't know. I don't. I don't agree with everything I've read, of course, but. Um, I think that um, we have different ways of learning when we are kids and when we are adults. And when when you are a kid, I don't know. Uh, you can just imagine me as uh, maybe three year old. <laughs> yeah, like you're, 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 you don't have your memory full of a lot of stuff. You yeah. just remember someone tells you do it, you do it. Yeah. But when you're an adult, you try to make connections. connections. So mm -hmm. I think if you try to uh, understand as much as possible why you make those moves, it can help you to, to remember it better. So if you, if you feel like, okay, why am I making this move? Like, so I showed you queen c2. You can ask me mm -hmm. that, why did you take the queen out early? Right? I mean, why do you take it out early? Why don't you play e3? For example, I'm just saying a question you can ask me. Yeah. Why don't you play e3? Yeah, I play e3 actually. <laughs> yeah. you see? You no, see? actually, like, first knight f3 and then e3. First knight f3. Okay. Vichy. So, so here's the thing. I think it's it's sometimes not explained correctly because depending whom you are working with, mm -hmm. um, if someone didn't teach so much at the lower level, for example, um, is is assuming that you should know everything, you know. Yeah. And, and I think maybe, because Alshon sometimes does that to me. He assumes I know everything, okay? And I'm like, really? I, I nobody know. knows everything. Yeah, like, nobody, they don't know. But then we are shy to ask, because, like, you don't want to sound silly. Like, wh why, you know? I, 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 I can tell you from my own experience. I don't want to sound silly, and then I don't ask, and then... And then at some point I got used to asking and I know, especially if it's Elshan or if it was my dad, I remember he would always say like, Sabina, that's a silly question. Why would you ask? It's like, I'm telling you, my opponent will <laughs> play. Oh, I need to know. And they wouldn't believe me. Yeah. And then my opponent would actually play that move that I was asking. So after that happened, I wasn't shy to ask anymore. Yeah. But anyways, so here's the thing. Um, in When you start with D4, uh -huh openings a lot of the times you get to develop in almost all openings you get to develop this knight and this bishop out mm -hmm. first so after you do develop you need to open this one yeah. wow i made another color that's wow. so, <laughs> so advanced we have a special effect on the stream <laughs> I'm Star not Wars. next movie will be produced by us <laughs> coming for your big <laughs> Yeah, um, you see the special effects? Wow. <laughs> Anyways, E3, right? And yeah. then the backup, you want to take this one, the blue one, out. Yeah. <laughs> the light. Okay, let's, you know that already. Yeah. You want to take it out. So because you want to take it out, like you'll play E3 first. And then um, it's always tricky with this knight, I know. Everyone wants to put it um, in F3 because when when you learn to play chess you are told these four squares are the best possible squares for the knight actually the nobody tells me that but <laughs> okay 
They should have. Alex, what have you done? <laughs> blame. Hashtag blame Alex. You, you did great. You did great. But I can see I you. I'm doing great. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, your improvement yeah, is, is yeah. really good. I mean, I can see you're doing tactics, you're seeing stuff, two, three moves. You see ideas, you, you started recognizing patterns, which is very good. It's, it's a sign of progress. Might not be so fast as maybe you wish or, or not, but it's, it's good progress. I'm telling you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you from time to time. <laughs> oh my God. You're doing. I need to be more careful, guys, during streams. I can't wonder anymore because no, everybody's no. watching. <laughs> but anyway, so that's, that's the thing I'm telling you now. Like, yeah. that's what you're learning first. But because now you are ad an adult, you can, you can learn things and then kind of unlearn them a little bit so that you learn new stuff better. And so those are usually the best places because you control eight squares. It's the best location. Looks like Elsha brought Regina. Oh my God, Regina. I want to see Regina. Hi, baby. She's so, yes. she's so She's there. She gorgeous. came to say hi. She's Georgina <laughs> Jones. <laughs> hi, Regina. Oh, okay. oh, such a sweet girl. Okay, I'm distracted. Right. So those four squares, right? So that's what you're learning. But mm -hmm. sometimes you have to make changes. So here, there are two lines you can do. One is the one that you suggested with placing the knight in F3. And the other one is the one that I'm telling you that I was playing, which is to take the queen out and the knight through E2. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole point is that you need an extra pressure on this central square. Oh my God, now I keep getting blues. That wasn't my intention. Let to me... Change. It's okay, it's okay. All, all good. I, okay. I, I found a red, but how did I do that? <laughs> okay, I don't know. I'm sorry. I distracted, I destroyed everything on the board. All good, all good. You remember those squares. It's like then. Anyways, you want to have control there. That's why you're going to switch the position. Also, if the knight goes like this, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. you're oh. also kind of... You see that? Mm -hmm. Then, if ever black puts the bishop on this diagonal... Oopsie. No, nope. that one to attack you, your pawn will be protected. That's a good thing. That's Ooh. a pretty good thing. So mm. you're either gonna have it in F3, which is the best possible location. Seriously, dude, green, green. <laughs> you don't want. Just... Oh, oh my god, how ah! could you do the red one? Just right click, just right click. Okay, oh I'm my just god. Using... That's so I'm just using right okay. click for now. <laughs> Nothing else. Star Wars, right. we're seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways okay all right so because of that that's why now you're changing things a little bit so you don't mm -hmm. take the knight out first you I take actually the put the knight on e2 when they played the king's indian like in the oh interesting yeah. okay i don't know that's why good. but i was told to do that and mm -hmm. i'm doing that every time now that's that's a good one and then you bring <laughs> i don't know right? why but don't ask me <laughs> No, but you need to understand. You need to try to understand why you're making yeah. the move. Because then it, it helps you a lot. So anyways, the knight will go there. You'll be good. All right. So why we're doing queen c2 here is very important. Because you see, when you take here, they take back. Mm -hmm. the bishop gets opened. Mm -hmm. Because the bishop gets opened, it wants to go here. Okay. So I want to make sure I say no to the bishop there. Um, I see. That's how you remember. That's how you try to remember it. Now I see. Then... Bless you, Elshan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Something to drink would be good, please. Yeah. Castle. And then here. Because okay. I want the bishop and then I want the knight. So that's kind of how you make the connections. Ooh. Okay. So if I would play, if you would play e3 here, now your opponent could or could not play bishop f Five, it's up to they do. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, then, then, I put it to queen D. then you don't get you don't get that line anymore because if you put the bishop here, they'll be like, "Oh, thank you so much. You're so kind. That's my bad bishop. Did you know? Oops. Did you know the stuff about good bishop and bad bishop? Um, I heard that, especially in French, the light squared is the uh, the bad. Why? One. Uh, because Why? Uh, you you cannot easily develop it. It's blocked by e6. Yeah, by the pawns. Yeah. Pawns on the same color blocked. 
makes it a bad bishop. So mm. you don't want to so get rid of it. try to exchange it. Exactly, exactly. Or, or you could put it on a good diagonal. Mm. Now, that was a part I always had trouble with. <laughs> I don't know about you. Like, what do you mean it's a bad bishop? Do I want to trade it or not? Tell me the truth. <laughs> so it, this is kind of a good diagonal in the sense that it's an open diagonal. Mm. And the bishop is going to be so annoying on these squares. Like you will not be able to develop to put the rook here. You won't be able to put the queen there. It's going to bother you. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I got rid of them to too many errors at once. Because of that, you are like, no way I need that bishop there. So I will play queen c2 first. Okay. I want you to try, like when you're memorizing or reviewing an opening, try to see if it makes sense to you. If it doesn't, try to ask yourself the question because it could help you with the remembering better. Okay. I tell you from own experience. Yeah. I don't have the best memory <laughs> with a lot of openings, so I, I have to review them a lot. And since I started doing this, it's been more helpful for me. Like I, I tried I to do it, but uh, my analysis board is lagging from time to time and it just shows the moves that I didn't do. Um, so I can't say I've been reviewing them as much as I would like to. <laughs> so, uh, that reflects in my uh, game quality, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay, okay, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I can help with that part, yeah, but I, just... <laughs> I don't know. I you don't know. know. My dog ate my homework, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. But anyways, this is one this is one line. We don't need to focus on this. I just, you know, showed you that because yeah, we were yeah. talking. But the idea was basically to show you that in case you forget and you go here to talk about the traps, because we said we we're going to talk about some traps. Um, a lot of people set up this trap. Now, this is such an old trap that a lot of people forget about. Let's see. Okay. Do you know this trap? I don't know. Let's see. All right. All right, so let's see. How many pieces attack this square? How many pieces of white? Uh, two. Mm -hmm. How many pieces of blacks protected? Uh, one, two. All right, so normally you couldn't take it, right? But the, the knight is pinned. Ooh. So oh, so can... this is a trap for white? It is a trap for white. Oh, no, I wait, thought it was a. Okay. I'm not sure how to say it because I'm the I'm I'm the one who always falls for the trap. That's why I'm like, not fall for is it. it's a trap for me. <laughs> it's a trap. No, it's a trap you should not fall for. Okay. All right. Okay. So you not take the pawn, but now we have to figure out why. Why shouldn't we? Sorry, I have some. Why? I need to kill. Okay, let's say uh, they take the pawn. Uh -huh. Anyways. Oh, that, that way? Okay. Yeah, well, because if they take like this, what do you do with white? Uh, take the queen. Yeah, and of course. Take that would be here. good for you. They take here, then you take oh back. Oh my god, right? I remember something. Yeah, but uh, not not this one. Okay. Not like that. No, no, no. no, no they no. take the pawn first. Okay. Pawn, pawn and first. they are attracting you to, take to, make, to take it. Yes. Is this a good move? Apparently not. No, it's not. Oh, so you need to know yeah. that. If Nicola! You play... <laughs> Thanks for the raid. So here's the thing. It could happen to you also here, by the way, because you could you could basically say, oh, I take, take. Then you go here, and then they play this move. So you can still get this trap. Oh, shoot. Really? So it can happen to you as okay. well. Just... It, oh. So you can fall for this. You can be like, oh, my God. I'm my still trying to remember, but... What is this? Yeah. You should know this. You should know this. Okay. You should. You need to know this not to fall for this. Okay. Let's not fall for this. This is a, like... This is a tactical idea mm -hmm. that Black has takes advantage that you have not finished your development. Look at all those pieces. That is the big thing. Okay. When you go on. forward to take a pawn, you should always remember your pieces and mm. yeah, try to avoid to fall for tra tra traps of this kind. Oh, you <coughs> What is this? <laughs> okay. So, so, I can tell you it's a sacrifice. That's all I will tell you. 
It's a sacrifice, okay. Could it be a queen sacrifice? No. Do you want me to answer or not? <laughs> I'm not sure. I remember many, something, but I don't remember it completely. So it's like, whatever I say will be... It has to do with this king in the center and not being able to, like, if it gets okay, trapped. Where, where can this guy jump? Okay, let's see. Maybe knight? Because the... Uh -huh. Because if I do this, they will take. And I don't Correct. like that and I'll lose a pawn. Exactly. Okay. So what do you do first? Um, Night somewhere, but where, yes. not sure where. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Here's the thing. I don't know, so I I need Wait. to be careful because I know you want to find it yourself. <laughs> How do I get there? This? No. Well, I didn't say it's a night check. Okay. You came up with it's that, a night check. I... Okay, not night. No, check. I didn't say it was a night. You said it's a night check. Okay. Because I'm a suspicious girl and I see the light there. <laughs> it, could be, it could be another piece too. Remember, you have a lot of pieces. White has only moved those two pieces. Takes. Uh huh. Takes. Uh huh. Check. And there's only one way to protect the king. Okay. Yes, okay. That is the queen. I'm so confused. You take the queen? No. Yes, you can. You can take it, and then I take back, and then? Uh, you take back, you're here, and uh -huh. I need to attack you so much. How many pieces we have on the board left? <laughs> Not many, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but the king you're is close. here. You're really close, you just need one more move, and that's one it. One more move, yeah, okay, my knight is here. Without moving the pieces, which is hard, but you can do it. Okay, I can... Okay, the king is there. How do I exploit? My dark squared bishop is no longer alive. And what about black? What about white's dark square bishop? Did I not set? Oh, white. Oh, what? Do I just take it? Yeah. And then? Do and you then? have anything extra? Yeah, you just take it and then? I didn't count. I, I have a <laughs> knight. Yes. Yes, that's correct. For black. That's for black, by the way. Black has a okay, knight. Yeah. So that is correct. Good job. Awesome. <laughs> Great job. I'm proud yeah. of you. you know, so I was told to not to do this job. as white because... Okay. Um, hold on. If I can put my analysis in the... You, can, you cannot... I, I just can't. Okay. Ah, I, I don't know, actually, if you can. You no, cannot... I just can't. You can do it. You could do it. Most people don't go knight d7. In that position, most people develop the bishop. That's why maybe it's never happened to you. Mm -hmm. But some people can do it. Just pretend like it. Just go back and hmm. and I uh, definitely they can, see the knight over here. And they can like they definitely see weird variations of this, but I never <laughs> ever attempted to take it. I'm okay. a, I'm a nice well, person. Well, I don't take then. it. You're fine. You have to. You've learned chess the right way. The right way. Occupy the center and develop your pieces. Yeah, so you're exactly. not going for poison. I abide by the principles by heart. That's good. That's good. Just in case. Just in case this happens to you, check and you're trapped because you didn't develop these pieces. Uh -huh. uh, you are in trouble. So you have to put the queen here. And black can take it or wait one more move and just take there and just laugh. Ha ha. I have an extra. Uh, two extra. <laughs> pieces right now and I'll take I'll take this whenever I want because you're pinned mm -hmm. uh, so so you cannot fall for this and that's why as you said do not take the pawn play e3 this is the right move so all good you we've got that all good e3 and um then you develop and you can develop your knight here as you said mm -hmm. bishop here now that the knight is developed in d7 you're not so worried oopsie you're not so worried because now the bishop will not come there. So you can take the knight and the bishop if you're going to place it there. Maybe you learn to put it here and then after that you go forward, right? Here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then f4. Good, good. All right. So you played the Pillsbury kind of idea. That's a good one. That's yeah. a very nice for attack. Very good. And All right. my rook is there after castling. So it just like opens up the file for the rook. And good. I like after it. you cast. Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now let us see another opening mm -hmm. that I want to make sure you don't fall for. Now you may not play this, okay. but um, this this happens from the Queen's Indian. 
Okay. Now let's see what you play against this. You might not play what I'm showing you. But anyways, it's something important a lot of people can fall for. Uh, you play c4 here? Yeah. Okay, and after e6? e6, I play knight, f, knight c3. Knight, oh, knight c3 first. C Okay, I was going to show you something with knight f3. Okay, you got excited for a second. No, I, I just stick, stick with what I know. Okay, do you want me to show you knight f3 or no? No, no, show it, show it. Show it, show it, show it. okay. So knight f3, some people play this because they don't want to allow the names of it to be played, this this move. Yeah, people yeah, don't. yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's good. I mean, I was playing this... A lot of times mm -hmm. these days I alternate. I like to trick my opponent, never show them exactly what you do. <laughs> it's good to play more uh, different things. But if you play this, a lot of people... I, I actually play this as black. Okay, so maybe we can flip the board um, and you can look at it from black's perspective. Okay. Since um, it's a trap that uh, black has. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, okay, you wanna, how do I flip? I, do, I did actually b6 okay so most people like i said they go for this check this is the most yeah. famous most popular line for black because but they can do it bishop, bishop to d2 and it yes defeats the purpose i guess i think we want to take the knight not the bishop yeah um well they sometimes play a5 here black uh plays a5 oh why okay. can't I... oh, okay good uh or queen e7 they okay. don't, take, but I don't know at the lower levels if they people take. A lot of people like trade, so they might take yeah. it. Okay. All right. Queen well, well, well looks here, sensible here. This is good. This is good. Queen e7 is an option here that black can play. And, um, and do you, I mean, you can, do you know what to do yourself with, uh, or do you, I mean, is this something you do with black? Since we're looking at it now from black's perspective, um, I do usually do? don't um, don't get the bishop out when the knight isn't on c three. Do you go b six? Uh, I go e seven when I need it. I just go b six. Um, you know, try to. Yeah, so this is what he's going to show you. B six. Okay. What... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is the trap. Oh. This is, this a is trap. actually what We're I not play. Not right now, not yet, but okay, it's coming. Not yet. Okay, white usually plays g3, right? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. To develop the bishop, castle, and such. And mm -hmm. a lot of people just go bishop b7 here. Because what do you know? So when you learn the names of bitch, what did you learn was the main idea for you and for the opponent, for white and for black? Uh, to control the e4. Exactly. Yes. So that's why a lot of people go for this line. I, don't know. I, I can't help it, my guys. <laughs> that's good. What? What? I'm so smart. Everybody praise me. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Yay. <laughs> well, you see, I think I think you have to trust yourself more. I think yeah. you have to I have think, more yeah, confidence. Yeah, I like um, confidence. You, you keep know. you keep saying no. I don't know. I don't know. You know. What do you? mean you know it sure, sure. see positive things to yourself I, I keep losing it anyways no worries I mean, no I, I, no, I find a way to mess it all up <laughs> ah. okay. yeah you'll be fine it'll be fine let's see let's okay. see you know this this trap or not so I don't know anything any traps here okay I'll see did you ever try this move no all right, now you're going to learn this one. Never. <laughs> it, it's just some line, okay? I don't promise. I don't promise your opponents will play exactly the same like you. You <laughs> tricked me yesterday with that video. Oh my you god, someone somebody Emma. else somebody else commented that oh they played a uh, queen to some place and I'm like but it's just one variant, you know this, you know this better than me. It's just yeah, like no. from the second move, chess changes a lot. <laughs> but uh, what I want to say is that this may be similar. I can show you something and maybe your opponent will not play exactly the same. Okay. So you have to try to, if they don't, to do something to respect the principles, of course. Okay. So anyways, so here, <laughs> what we're doing is looking at, well, the threat, which is you know, the pawn, you want to take the pawn, right? Mm -hmm. 
So here, white has multiple moves to protect the pawn, right? Like uh, they can play queen here yeah. or queen here. Uh, knight to d2. Correct, knight to d2. Uh, they can also play this mistake-ish kind of b3. Okay. We're going to look at more. Any other moves like knight d2. So basically, you know, this move doesn't help you, this bishop a6 as much. Bishop b7 is more normal. Mm -hmm. But the reason you play it is to make white choose a move that may be not so helpful for them with okay. their plan. Sneaky so, sneakster you know, com. We forced them to make a mistake. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's you just a distraction, attract them. Uh, anyway, so normally they want the knight there, right? Mm -hmm. So they go knight d2. Well, you manage to do something like they block the bishop yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I mean, not much. They will still develop it like that eventually. But anyways, Oops. it's not the knight is not in the best square yeah. to control, you know, these two mm -hmm. important squares. It only controls this. Oh, blue one. Man, my arrows are killing me today. Okay. It only controls that <laughs> happens one. happens to me a lot. <laughs> so it's funny to see you struggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's tough. It's tough with the arrows. <laughs> so, um, if they put the queen to a4 or b3, no worries. You can always go back with the bishop, okay? Yeah. And, and you basically attracted them to put the queen here, which is not really so helpful for white. Yeah. The queen should try to somehow control you know, that square mm -hmm. at some point. So say they will go B3, which is like a normal move of potential development, strengthening the pawn. It seems like a very normal, uh, you know, common, common response, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So now what we do is we give this check. Yeah. All right. So uh, the best move for white here, which one do you think it is? Uh, knight d2? That is the mistake. Oh, we're gonna, a mistake. We're gonna see okay, it. Okay, maybe bishop d2. Bishop d2. But okay. everyone kind of wants knight d2 because, well, that's the point. I play b3. I try to make the most use of this move. Okay, it, yeah. Right? Make Actually, use correct. This is the way that I... I, I think people... <laughs> No, I mean, at the lower level, I believe people will do this. If they play b3, they will play this move so that they get the bishop out there. Seems like normal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is the best move. So I will show you what to do against this. Do you want me to show you first why that's a mistake or first what to play against this? Uh, however you feel like. Okay, let's, let's see the good one first. So you do not trade now because here, in this case, you attracted the bishop, right? On It mm -hmm. wants to be there, but now it's blocking the queen it's in the way it's not so good so you're not going to trade it anymore here you need to remember you did mention you're going back to e7 here you're going to go back to e7 okay don't panic that you move the bishop twice you have uh attracted like i said a white to place the bishop on a bad square so now you go back they develop and here it is very important for you in my opinion to get ready to attack this pawn And in this position, I think um, white should go for, I mean, sorry, black should go for c6. This is kind of a sneaky idea. It doesn't look c6. so good, I know. Okay. Why do you think we, I would show you that move? I know it doesn't look so good temporarily. Why do you think I would show you that move? C6, I think prepare something, but I am yes. not quite sure what. What is the most important thing to do in an opening? Uh, develop pieces. <laughs> First thing, the first thing. Control the center. Occupy the center, yes. Okay. So, you did <laughs> it. Don't so ask how you can I, okay, okay, then explain to me. Okay, okay. Do you, did you ever wonder wonder why are you playing Nimzovich where you don't occupy the center? Why is that? That's a trick question. never thought about this. <laughs> Didn't ask. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. They That's said, okay. oh, if they push d4, do this. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll do this from now question. on. <laughs> Always question them. Don't trust them. <laughs> Men. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, but, uh, here's the thing. Um, 
So uh, Nimzovic, and, and actually he was not the first one. He was not the first one who came up with this. It was uh, Reti. Mm-hmm. Maybe you heard that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, Reti was the first one who, who came up with these modern openings where they were saying, you know what, I will not occupy the center first. Mm-hmm. I will develop my pieces, let you occupy the center, and then... We'll see how it goes. <laughs> then I will attack it. <laughs> then I will attack it and you'll not be ready for my attack. I'll prepare, mm-hmm. prepare, prepare. And then I attack you. So I'm rude, Betty. <laughs> no, no, and that's that's what you're doing. No, no, it's good. <laughs> good. But you know I who like was rude. <laughs> You know who was rude? It was Nimzovic who was rude. Nimzovic. How dare Nimzovic? <laughs> no, no, listen what he did. He took out Reti's idea. He was like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to come up with an opening like that myself. And then I'm going like. to write a book about it. I'm going to write a book about it. Ouchies. And, <laughs> and then everyone is going to know that I did it. Oh my God, we should make a movie like Facebook. Oh my god, the guy steals the other guy's idea and makes a book. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure how... The tea, uh, the... guys, this is high-level gossip. High-level gossip. This is high-level <laughs> chess gossip. This is... A... Well, I, I don't know exactly, but basically he wrote a book. It's a very famous book out there. It's my called system. My System. You know it, good. Know. Yay. 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 Oh my God. Uh, we need to do like a Kahoot test. Oh my God, this. yes. Anyways, the, the point tea. is. The T. The T. Did you try the T from it? Oh my God, it, I, I still haven't because I oh tried to find the nice oh occasion. God. I can't. You are, me. you are killing me. You should try it. Yeah. <laughs> Though I'm saying that, but I, I drink it very like once a month or something myself you know i have i have like 20 because i and I, I i think i only drank like a few anyways the point is the point follows. is yeah let's go. Point is, uh he wrote my system and then there's the thing that's the idea so you first kind of develop get ready and then you attack the center this yeah. is the whole point of modern openings and that's thanks to reti and nimzovic and maybe others that I don't know all of them, but that story is pretty true. Okay. So, <laughs> so you, uh, you want to prepare, you want to prepare arrow. Yes. D5. Okay, D5. Yes. So you want to super prepare and make sure it's well Actually, protected. Actually, I had that in mind. The... Okay, good, good. Oh. And, and that's important. I should not touch this. Okay, <laughs> that's important because... Um, because you're also putting pressure here, as you can see, you did not return with the bishop back to b7 yet. Mm-hmm. You're keeping it there for a little bit more pressure. And then um, if they go, for example, bishop c3 or something, you know, to try to, I guess, um, you know, strengthen the center and put the bishop on a better square, then you can go d5. Mm-hmm. Now you're letting white yes. to place the right there, yes. which is probably bothering you because you yes. do the same. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right. So when that happens, we need to get the knight away from there. How do we get the knight away from there? Uh, um, I don't know. Bishop d6 or knight d7. Bishop d6. There's a... Bishop, you already moved that bishop. And which knight to d7? Because that's very tricky. Oh, actually, I was thinking b to d7 but maybe f to d7 now that you ask <laughs> f to, knight f to d7 yes that's, oh that's, my god i know it's not looking nice but yeah. you, can't, you can't move that one be careful okay i don't want to you i don't want you to come back and be like Sabina, oh, me. oh my me. god didn't see that that is that is something you always look when there's a knight here in this very annoying square Dude, and this very opponents might, must be so bad <laughs> no, no, you, you gotta look for that square okay. always always when there's a knight in the center here here come on blue square or something okay, red yeah okay oh no no i didn't mean to do that i meant to make That's some square circle <laughs> always look for those sp- p- particularly i guess okay, let me this, uh, move? Okay. That. i don't know Okay. Just don't don't make my mistake to deliver everything. Now you can take 
um, you go knight d7, and they cannot really support it. They're not ready to really play f4. I think you can play f6 if they play f4. Mm -hmm. um, people usually take, and whew, you can breathe. No more knight there. Oh. But they got a second one, so don't don't breathe just yet completely. Like just don't think it's over. A new knight can come, but it's okay. You can castle here, and 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 then basically, you know, you just. You could go rook c8, maybe prepare some c5 at some point. Mm -hmm. And just see if I can make some more arrows. <laughs> Something like that at some point. But be careful when you push. Just make sure you look for this pawn, not to yeah. lose it. This knight can come to f6 if you want to, to make sure your king will be safe, uh, center protected, and then you would love to make some trades in the center. Okay, so this should be... A really good position. Now, this is in case someone is that good, knows all this opening prep, and is gonna be able to just, you know, play all these moves. <laughs> but, but, but I'm telling you, I think because of B3, if we go back to this moment, because of this B3 move, everyone is thinking, I'm gonna put my bishop in B2, because mm. that's why you put the pot there. So they will go for knight to d2 now. Okay. You to think about this position and tell me, we are going to have this. Oh. That rook. Still not very well protected there. Oh my what? god. Wait. What idea do you have? Uh, but if I play bishop to c3 right now. They will put the rook on uh, rook on B1. They put the rook on B1, only move, right? Yeah. All right. And now there's a weakness. There is a weakness that we have with white. It's not supposed to be a weakness. It's supposed to be a strength. But we got that pawn, right? Yeah. Who protects that pawn? Uh, knight on F3. Uh-huh. Can you do something to get rid of the knight? I'm trying to color another color. It didn't, didn't work. Hmm. I made it, finally. This? Uh-huh, yes. You're going right back. Remember I told you the bishop there will only stay temporary. Eventually mm -hmm. it will come back on the diagonal. All right. So now you pin them. Yeah. And... It just looks like, okay, you realize your bishop doesn't do anything anymore there. It's blocked by the pawn, which is protected. So you just bring it back. But everyone will just be like, okay, sure, I'm going to proceed with my development. All right, what can we do here with black? Uh, we just take it? Takes, takes, and you take the bishi. And you they have the them on the rook. You have them on the rook and you want a pawn. It's not a big deal. You still have to play yeah. more. It's not like a piece or a queen. It's not that much, but a pawn is a pawn. So you start <laughs> with that. Goes mm -hmm. back. But you don't like it. Then you go back. Mm -hmm. And you've got a pawn. I think that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Now, if they are kind of sneaky and be like, what? No, I don't want to give up that bishop. Uh, I, I just want to trade this. They can go something weird like this. Don't worry about it. Just trade. Okay. One second. Actually, you could have made an intermediate move first if you wanted. Wait a second. Let me think about it if it matters or not. Is there is an intermediate move that you could do, so I'm trying to think if it would help you or not. Mm, actually, yeah, you know what? If you want, I mean, you could just take the pawn, but if you want, you could make this move first. Okay. Mm, you want to, like, you basically trap the rook. Uh-huh. What is he doing? Well, I don't think... Take it too much. <laughs> yeah, it's just not bad, Isn't huh? Is this better? Like, is that yeah? A way this to is prevent? probably a little bit better. This is probably a little bit better to play this first, and you're forcing you're forcing yeah. the knight here. Um, 
and then you take they take and you take you're you're probably better to they need to find this only move knight h4 there's no other move that, that they can do so mm -hmm. this could be actually even better if they don't see enough like you you will win an exchange so yeah. that's probably better um if but you could just take the pawn too you could just take because they have no no way to to escape this yeah that's good. So, That's pretty good. I like bishop e4, and I feel like this, if you play this, you have some chances to win a pawn. It's kind of long. It's like 10 moves. But... Yeah, 10 moves sequence. Good luck. <laughs> no, no, you can do it. You can remember. I'm sure you can remember. Uh, but but you just look through this again. This time, save it somehow, download it. I don't know. Save it to make sure I don't delete it by mistake. But I'm not touching anything. Anyways, so that, <laughs> that is that. Um, yeah. This is it. This is the trap for the um, Nimzo. Nice. So one more thing um, that I have, if you want, it's kind of crazy, Ooh. but there's one more trap against the Budapest Gambit. Are you familiar Ooh, with? The I know it. Uh, just to avoid getting mated. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please show it. All right. All right. So D four. Which one is the Budapest? Let's see if you know it yourself. Do you know it? Uh, I think the knight comes to somewhere <laughs> here and then you get made. And now it's a gambit. <laughs> okay. It's a gambit, so, so I, I assume they... It's a pawn. Yeah. Is it e5? Yeah. Yes, e5. So now we take it, right? And normally, do you take it when someone sacrifices this pawn? I've never seen anybody sacrifice that pawn in my games. All right, all right. But so, I would take it. Good. <laughs> but you have to be careful what yeah, you do next. Yeah, exactly. And then now, they go. They want to take it. Yeah. So their idea is to try to, like, they sacrifice it to kind of make you unsure on how you develop your pieces. That's the point mm -hmm. of this. So that you're not sure how you develop your pieces. And then, you know, they, they try to get it back. I mean, it's in their territory after all. And a move like F4, ugh, don't play it. Do not. Do not try to hold on to the pawn like that. Yeah. But you can go Bishop F4. Okay. And um, so a lot of people start with the knight. But if you start with the knight, what's happening is they sometimes play this move. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they yeah, attack your pawn. Mm-hmm. So there, there's a pressure there. So then you have to maybe push here, and then they will be able to put more pressure on the knight and if, on the pawn. Sorry, and eventually win it. They do it. They do usually get the knight there, new mm -hmm. knight, knights, the queen. They get it back. So that's why here against the principles which say you should develop the knights before the bishops. Uh -huh. Okay, that doesn't apply 100. percent Okay, yeah. don't take don't take rules <laughs> literally. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can get <laughs> bishop f4 mm -hmm. protect yeah okay now they will play this move to attack okay. how can we defend the pawn uh knight knight yes we develop so now you can you can do this because if the bishop gets to be developed here you can you can close it and your bishop is out which is very important yeah because now you protect the pawn so black is like checky yeah. my friend Ooh, yeah I keep checking right. what to do uh wait if knight here we have uh, how many options do we have that are pretty decent like what do you say i think knight knight there is an option yeah. any other option any other option i don't know if this or that knight to um other knight to d2 or bishop to d2 or b to d2 new piece new piece you would new piece you, okay b to yeah. d2 knight this one from b1 could Seriously? Okay. Could go here or here, as yeah. you said. C3 That's or, it. Yeah. I mean, the other ones are possible moves, decent moves, but yeah. you really already move those pieces. They are doing a good job of protecting your weakness in the center. So you really are okay with um, 
with leaving them there. You develop new pieces. Yeah. I wouldn't do a backwards move in the Good. opening. Yeah. Good. So which which place would you place it on? Do you I think? would I take knight to c3 because that's what I usually do. That is a pretty pretty good decision. That's a pretty good decision. If you do this, you're not gonna fall. You're okay. not gonna fall. Nice. You're not gonna fall. <laughs> good. You saved yourself from the trap. Good. Just remember. <laughs> that Just remember. that might be the reason why I don't because I always. <laughs> no, that's good because you're leaving your king. The important thing of what we've seen so yeah, far air, is trap. You know? Yeah, and hmm? then the, you you might have chances for a smothered mate. Uh, if you put on good the now you know my trick which i'm gonna show you you know it i don't <laughs> you know, know it, but yeah you i, I saw it. it but i never experienced it in an actual game we'll see we'll see let's see i, I let's... hope i don't <laughs> no no i don't want you to experience uh, i just maybe you'll somehow at some point decide to play this budapest gambit with black you'll be like oh, you know no, what no, no. <laughs> Let's see if my opponent knows this, and you never know. <laughs> but but this this can be a totally playable position where white uh, could even go queen here and just hold on to the pawn basically. Yeah. And you're not so worried if they take because even if you get double pawns, you took uh, the bishop pair, which yeah. is pretty good, pretty good in general. But anyways, but the trap you have to be careful for. This if you go knight d2, you see, as you mentioned, smothered king. The poor mm -hmm. king is smothered by all of those pieces. That's so scary. That's so scary. So he will go queen here. Oops. Yeah, I thought, yeah. Yeah. Now, what to do? If I push a3 and they do push the queen to c5. Oh, so sneaky. You <laughs> Okay, all right. What can you do to and protect? If I take it. Uh-huh. They have <laughs> You're very creative. They have a mate. <laughs> You're, that's not the idea I want to show you, but that's a creative one for sure. <laughs> then when did they do? They have a mate on F2, so Yeah. yeah okay. I don't think it works. <laughs> It, it, you can't take the bishop, you're right. But maybe you can protect, right? If you see a threat from your opponent that's bigger than yours, mm -hmm. stop their threat first, then go back for to your threat. Like Okay. So you see queen c5. Yeah. And, uh, it, and the mate. Yeah. So how do you stop that threat? How do you protect the mate first? Is it... Um... Can you move a oh, new... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> eat, okay, eat, get eat, rid eat, of that. <laughs> yeah, pawn. Yeah, pawn to easy. Yeah. <laughs> Just a simple. <laughs> Stay by the but That's a sneaky. That's such a sneaky idea. Yeah. Nice one. Oh my god. Yeah. I I yeah, I saw this <laughs> from somewhere. That was a good one. That was yeah, a good yeah. one. Maybe E three should be fine, or maybe Bishop G three. But E three I like more, you know. We gotta develop. We gotta mm -hmm. develop. You know? They still All have right. something, right? Wait. Huh? Do they have something? Um here? Still no still here. Probably okay. they have to take because if they go there, what do you do? Oh, a big B4. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. And that's good. No. So he's not going to do that. After A3, he's going to pretend like he hasn't figured out what is going on. And he's going to touch this knight. Uh huh. And I'm going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe I touched the knight. Oh, I forgot about my bishop. All right, I guess I'm going to take here, fine. I was trying to imitate what someone could try to do. <laughs> okay, you used yeah. to do this when I was oh, a kid. Oh, I see now. If they you take not the bishop, working. there's this check. That, exactly, maybe. that is the trap. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh my very, goodness. That very is... easy to fall for it. Dot com. What, 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 well. Look at that. That oh, is... That's a small thing. That is... Uh, <laughs> I believe this is called the Keeninger trap or something like that. I'm not the best with the names, oh. uh, but anyways, this is a little scary. Obviously, you should not. You should not um, take the bishop here. What should you do? Uh, do we take the knight with what? With what? 
takes, 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 takes. You could. You could. But you yeah. shouldn't. <laughs> no, I mean, I wouldn't give the bishop. I, I would take it one time, probably. Probably. Okay. Um, after this, could you take the bishop or still not? If you take it, they, do they not have the same thing? They have the same thing. I was yeah. just asking. I was just asking. Okay, that's why I was like trading off everything to get rid of the trade. Uh, I mean, threat. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now if you take it here, how is he going to save himself? Because obviously if he takes, then you take the bishop and you uh, have an... He has a check. Mm -hmm. How is this called? There's a word for this move before taking the bishop makes on... Intermezzo? In, yeah, intermediate or, yeah. Okay, yeah. Or the, the German word that I taught the other day, I, I teach this six-year-old, I was like, it's called Zwischenzug. Oh, yeah, Zwischenzug, yeah, I know it. That's too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> intermediate, I was okay, like, yeah. Zwischenzug, and there was like a, another word similar to that, let me, okay, Zwischen, no, Zwischen, I think Zwischen means uh, in between. Yeah. Zwischen. In between and Zug is. I don't, I don't know how. Okay. Zwischen Schach. What does that mean? In between check. In between I don't know. check? Oh, oh my god, yes. Okay, I, no, I didn't. Zwischen Zug I is a chess. Yeah. Okay. If you, if it comes with a check, it's Zwischen Schach. Okay, I. It's learned. a Zwischen Zug that never... is a check. Oh my god, I'm so. <laughs> That's good. I never so heard you know, that. My I problem. Never... Um, has always been like I know the silly terminology, uh -huh. but I cannot do it in practice. Well, it's okay. So it's okay. No, you're you're learning it. You're yeah. learning. It. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Yeah, is a zwischen look. That is a check. Okay. <laughs> so there, there, there. You made you made a good zwischen Yeah. And now they take and then they take and probably decent. Decent, deep kind of position, playable position. Um, trying to think if you could maybe like not take the knight, like maybe you could play some move here. Can you think of another move to kind of keep your bishop pair on the board? Um, e3? Yeah, I, I think that's... E3 that now, it, it's not a checkmate because the... the, the... Mm -hmm, the bishop, yeah. oh my god, the knight doesn't move like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the bishop can the take boss. it and it's no longer a smothered mate. You save yourself yeah. <laughs> from this difficult situation. You get to live another day. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully you will start, if he doesn't take here, if he doesn't take, though if he takes, I would be happy for you because you have two bishops, which are yeah. pretty strong. But if he doesn't take and he just happens to just go randomly somewhere, what are you going to do against that bishop? That very, very annoying bishop. Uh, b4. Yeah, and then? b4, bishop to b6. And now c5. Yeah, I love these. Trap. I love the traps, restriction. Trap. Okay. The and there you have it. <laughs> GG, if someone did that. It's a GGO, you can say pay your respect and you can go out. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> the toughest one, you know, the toughest one, what it is, if you have two bishops on the same, like, file next to each other and then one gets attacked, you have to move it and then somehow, you know, imagine there was a bishop there, mm -hmm. you would attack this one, the bishop moved somewhere and then you'd push this. That's the most painful thing. Oh. That happens. It happened to me one time oh, recently. Geez. I hope so it never pain. happens again. <laughs> yeah, that's the shit. So that's good. So these, so you learn like three kind of traps. One you yeah. might have seen before. I don't think you've seen the Nimzo one. No. Uh, in the Indian one, no, it might happen. It might happen. Definitely save that one. Okay. Uh, and then this one, it's possible to make sure you avoid it. I mean, just well, guys, thanks for watching and thanks Sabina for being here and uh, Thank sharing you. your right. expertise with me. Go show her some love. Thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs>